Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to talk about how AWS Lambda works internally. In the previous video, I was talking about serverless computing. So on demand co-execution of code, I was explaining the previous video, like a cloud provider will provide you the computing platform. So you have to focus only on your product. You don't have to worry about how exactly your product will be running. So the, the cloud provider takes care of creating your servers and managing it. And he also takes care of operating system and required software, managing the hardware and ensure you, your product has scalability can scale if there is any more traffic your product can scale and they also ensure your application is available 24 by 7 so briefly i talked about serverless computing in the previous video now in this video i'm going to talk about how the aws lambda works internally lambda is it's like a function a, a, a simple function it can uh, it can run and execute a task and then go for shutdown mode okay so aws aws lambda is a compute service that lets you run code without provisioning or managing servers like you don't need to have a server you don't need to worry about servers you have to just worry about like you you have to think about your business logic you have to write in a language okay and then deploy your lambda deploy your function to aws so AWS Lambda executes your code only when needed and scales automatically. Let me show you a picture and then explain. So look at this picture, how AWS Lambda works internally. Suppose you have a very simple application, like whenever a user uploads an image, okay, then the image has to be validated. It should be like some pattern there should be some size you want to check so it's a very simple application whenever a user loads uh, or uploads an image this lambda wakes up and then executes execute the sense like it checks the size and whatever the requirement you want size and the quality and the extension of this image if there is any virus so this image validator is going to check the image and then once the validation is done it can allow the uh, user to upload the image so this is like an a lambda this is like a function which is residing inside the aws infrastructure so look at the flow like user for example he requests he is uploading an image the moment the request hit the cloud infrastructure like aws infrastructure what happens immediately a container is launched a very small tiny container a very small computer with small os and and your code which will be lying in some hard disk for example you might have written using python or node.js or java or kotlin so these are the languages currently supported the, as far as I know, so one of this language using one of this language, you can write your lambda function. Then, whenever there is a request comes, a container is launched. A container means a small computer which can which can handle this request. Okay, so a small container like a VM started, small OS, and then your code will be launched or your code will be called then your code takes control and then process the image that has been uploaded by the user once your your image validator has completed its task it goes for sleep for a while okay um, then if there are no requests this container will be killed and it's shut down okay and you can ask me like what if there are more people more users are uh, interacting with your application then what happens if there are more requests more containers are created more vms are created small vms are created so that you don't have to worry about how you can your product can serve the users you have to you have to just think about the the lambda function that you develop okay so if there are more requests aws will take care of the cloud provider will take care of launching the container uh, for each request okay so you your responsibility is to write your lambda function using any of this language okay so this is like this is how 
the lambda works once the image validator, validator is completed the task is completed then it's it shut down and there is something called cold start and warm start warm start means like the container will not be destroyed for example first time a user request uploads an image at that moment there were no containers at all zero containers then the aws will start a container and then load the code this is called as cold start okay then once the image validator the the coding the the computing is done the 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 image validator code will be removed from the container but still this container will retain as it is it will it will wait for few minutes to check if there are any more requests to to serve okay so in that case it's called as like warm start so when immediately whenever a request comes immediately the image validator loads the code and then execute it and the task is completed okay so cold start means it's like from the zero like at the new request came there are no containers from the beginning container has to launch and the apl application has to be loaded warm start means already container is there just we have to load the code execute it so always people prefer to have the warm start because your application performance will be really good because the, the because your your user will get faster response because aws is not launching the containers from the beginning okay because the container is already there okay let's see the benefits of the lambda before that i need to check the third point like you pay only for the compute time you consume that means the lambda consume few minutes or few seconds of uh, your cpu cycle the aws cpu cycle so you pay only for the lambda used computing time there is no charge when your code is not running with with aws lambda you can run code for virtually any type of application or backend service all with zero administration you don't have to worry about how many servers will be running where it will be running like what what happens if there is a more request more traffic you don't have to worry the cloud provider takes care of the administration okay the infrastructure that's why it's called as infrastructure as a service so then aws lambda supports currently node.js java c sharp go and python so let's see the benefits like from the product development perspective you can focus on your customer requirement the user requirements and the business logic that you need to develop your product and a scalable application with less effort so you don't have to like like have your clusters your own data center no you have to just focus on your product and you should be ready to pay money to the cloud providers for for managing your applications and reduced cost of cost of execution because you don't need admin team or you don't you don't have you don't need to own your own data center you don't order the hardwares so yeah these are the benefits and multiple language support like node.js kotlin java python and there are some disadvantages as well because because of complex call pattern so once you upload your lambda function like how it reaches the lambda for example if you have a cloud front and api gateway and uh, it whenever you make a call to the to your lambda function it goes through the cloud front and you can connect using api gateway and then uh, to your lambda function for example here a cloud front route 53 cloud front and then api gateway and then your lambda so it's a little challenging to debug your application and you have less control over the environment and this design decisions are really challenging if you don't have experts like experience on this field so now i've just briefly talked about how aws lambda works internally so whenever there is a request comes there are no containers whenever the request comes aws look at the request and start a container and load the lambda and execute it and then shut the lambda 
okay let's let's do one thing now i'm going to create a lambda so this is my aws console i've already logged in with my account if you don't have please log into your aws console account and then click on the lambda i'll go to the home page you can just type lambda here and then you'll get you'll, you'll you'll get this page okay so now i'm going to do one thing like i'm going to create a very simple function for you lambda function for you so it's like my first lambda okay and then don't worry about this uh, roles maybe i'll be talking about this role in the future videos okay so i'm going to create a function a lambda function and it's going to be in javascript so runtime i choose node.js if you would like to choose any other for example java 8 or python please go ahead and choose so i'm going to choose node.js and then i'm going to create this function so it gets created immediately you can we can see the lambda function ready now i'm going to so it gives you a sample code here okay so we can see the code here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to test it now so let's test it like configure events i'm going to do like api gateway so it's like what does it mean it's like the this lambda function will be called by an api gateway okay so i'll say it's a guest get employee event for example somebody is calling get employee event and i want to change the method to get because it's get so here it's get and then i'm going to use like department and i'm going to say science department okay science department and one more place i need to change here get so now i'm going to create a test event so this is how you can test your lambda and i want to print the value here so what i can do is like console you can check test your lambda console.log so whatever i'm passing from the from the test event here i can see it here so maybe okay so department so i'll save it and then i'll hit test so you can see here what i've done is i created an api gateway event and then i'm trying to access from my event the query string parameters that i passed which is science you can see here so i'm able to access the event value the query string parameters that i passed from here you can see here so the value that i passed is here it's like it's like someone someone calls this lambda this is my first lambda okay so whenever someone calls this lambda this part of the code will be executed okay so looking at the picture so what happened when i try to test it it's similar to a user hits this lambda okay and it got executed i wrote the code in javascript like node.js then what would have happened is aws launch like started a very small computer like a vm then it also launched the node.js and then it took my first lambda and placed on top of node.js and ran and then we saw the value okay this is what i had in my agenda Hope this video is useful and helpful. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to share with your friends, please share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to post more technical videos since I'm very much interested to teach all my subscribers. Thank you and all the best for your career. Thank you.